BF Day proudly presents Mr. M's Math Class. Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Mr. M's Math Class. Thank you for joining me today. Um, really quickly, I wanted to give credit to Aj and to Fergus for getting the challenge of the week correct. Um, and so I did not say their names on Tuesday, but they both got it correct. So nice job on the two of you. And I want to give a special, amazing shout out to Juliet, who caught a mistake that I made in the last episode. So if you remember this question here, um, it were, we were dividing $5.82 by three, and she noticed that I made a mistake. So um, my work up here, so I did a dollar, 50 cents, 40 cents, and four cents. And you notice here, I accidentally wrote a dollar 20 instead of 40 cents, which actually threw off my answer. Um, the correct answer is $2.94. And so Juliet emailed me, she took a picture of it, and so she called me out, which is awesome. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Juliet, for um, attending the precision. And, um, you know, even teachers make mistakes. I was not doing that on purpose. I totally uh, just messed up. So that's great. I will be more careful next time. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go over the agenda uh, since we all know kind of the same thing that we do. One thing you might notice though is that I am using a microphone so my, my uh, voice should be a little clearer and I also raised the camera so I have a, a, a different angle. So um, those are some of the things that you might have noticed that makes it hopefully a little better. Um, we'll see. Um, so first up, here are some pictures of you looking at the episode, some silly pictures of me, and also some silly pictures of you. I keep sending those pictures in. Um, they're super funny. And the silly pictures especially um, because you know it's good to be silly. Um, next up we have our estimation 180 and it is provided to us by Annabelle today. And her question is, how many pages in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? So I know that some of you struggled with the division um, decimal stuff that we did in the last episode. We're going to continue that today um, to give you a little bit more practice. Um, just know that this is one of the last things that we're going to go over um, in that's like brand new. And then uh, the next few weeks, I'm going to be teaching you some more math games. We're going to do another math game today, uh, but I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up that I know it's challenging, and I know especially the fourth graders, you have been really persevering. Um, I am available to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with you. Some of you have already reached out, which is fantastic. So um, please continue to reach out to me. It's really, really helpful for me to kind of get stuff from you. So um, let me know. Uh, so I'm going to change the perspective of this and then you'll be able to see um, the, some of the work of using models, the strategies to divide with decimals. <laughs> All right, so we're going to continue working with decimal division today. And as you can see here, we have a new problem. And this is actually the worksheet that you have for today. And so if you can have that with you while you're watching this, that'd be really helpful. So I'm going to give you a moment to go do that. You can pause the video as well. Um, so we're going to do the first question together, we're going to do the second question, and then your job will be to be to do uh, numbers 3, 4, and 5 on your own. So um, hopefully the first two questions will be an example for you to use to try to solve the other ones. Um, so let's read the question. It says, if school lunches cost $112.50 per quarter, which is nine weeks, about how much would each week of lunches cost? So my equation here is $112.50. 50 cents divided by nine 
equals, and we don't know what that is yet, right? So question mark there. Um, so my ratio table here, and I think I had a lot of questions about how to use the ratio table. And the ratio table really is for us to kind of think about ways that um, things that I can multiply nine by that might be helpful in trying to solve this particular question. So for example, I might think, um, you know, uh, one, one times nine is nine, nine dollars, right? Um, I might think uh, two dollars times nine might be eighteen dollars, right? Um, I might think that ten dollars times nine is ninety dollars, and that's pretty helpful. Um, I might also think about twenty dollars times nine is one hundred eighty dollars, which doesn't really help with this one, right? Um, so. If I'm thinking about an estimate here, I know that it's going to be more than ten dollars um, because that's ninety dollars, and that's pretty close. So I'm going to kind of kind of think about that there. And so I'm going to do this with the area model uh, first because I think that that makes the most sense to me. Um, and so I am going to start with that, and I'm going to put the nine over on this side, and I'm going to start off with ten. And so that's $90 that I've used up so far. So I could split up the $112.50 into $10 each, but I've only used up $90. So to make that a little clear, I'm gonna use this. And so I started off with uh, 10, and that is 90. Now I wanna know how much money I have left to divide. So I'm gonna subtract 90 from 112 and 50 cents. And then I end up with $22.50. So now I'm thinking, hmm, this $2, which was 18, is really close to this 22. So I'm going to use this $2 to help me out there. So that's $2. And that's $18. Right? So I've used up now $108. Now... I'm going to make sure to write this $2 here. I'm going to be careful. Remember, I made that mistake in the last episode that Juliet called out, which is fantastic. I subtract that. End up with $4.50. Now, there's a connection here between 9 and $4.50, or this 4 and a 5 were 45, right? Um, and so it actually turns out that... Um, Half of nine is four dollars and fifty cents, and so fifty cents would be four fifty, right? So fifty cents. I'm going to put here fifty cents. Half of nine is four fifty, and I'm going to put my area model here. Finish that off, and that's fifty cents. That's four fifty. Now I add up all of the things that I divided by. That's ten dollars plus two dollars plus fifty cents. So that's $12.50 is my answer. All right, so let's look at number two. Uh, number two says a fifth grader earned $94 gardening this month for a neighbor. If she worked eight hours this month, then how much did she earn per hour? Now, as you can see, I don't have a lot of space here. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to write the equation down, which is $94.00 divided by eight. And I actually wrote that in the bottom, or in the back of this page, so that we have more space to kind of work with. That's one recommendation I would have for you if for these questions is to get another piece of paper for your scratch paper. Um, please send that work in as well because I want to see your work with that. Uh, but let's start here. So um, I might think about uh, a good estimate here. I know that 8 times 10 is 80, and so that's pretty close. I, I could also think that the answer is going to be close to 11, since 11 times 8 is 88. So I'm going to do a little ratio table here on the side, because it's helpful to, <coughs> to have something with you. And this ratio table, uh, ratio table 4, 8, right? So... All right, so I'm going to think, um, this is for eight, so I'm going to think, well, one dollar would be eight dollars. For two dollars, it would be sixteen dollars. Um, for ten, it would be um, eighty dollars. 
for 11, which is, which is what I said would be $88, um, 50 cents, 50 of uh, half of eight would be $4. So I'm going to, this is for you to kind of help with the question, right? So I'm going to do the area model. And I'm going to put eight on the side. And I'm going to think about which, which one of these is the closest to 94. And I can see that that's 11. So I'm going to start off with 11 here. And 8 times 11 is 88. Okay. So now I'm going to put the standard algorithm here on the bottom side, or the, the hybrid version, which is kind of like partial quotients. Uh, I'm going to write the 894 on the inside on the eight on the outside. And I started off with 11, which gave me 88. And now I wanna know how much money I have left. So I'm gonna subtract that. And 94 minus 88 is six. So now I have six dollars um, and eight, right? So that's a trickier one to do, right? Um, so I might do, um, um, I might do, let's see, if I have $6 here, that is, I might do 50 cents, just to see, because since I have that one with uh, $4. And that would be $4. So let's see how that is. I have 50 cents. And I have $4. And now I have $2 here. So, um... That's an interesting one here. So now I'm going to think, hmm, what am I going to do now? So I could, I, if I think about $2, right? And I think about how, if I divide $2 by 8, and I'm thinking, well, I know that each dollar has four quarters. And if I have $2, that's eight quarters. So I could divide $2 into eight quarters. And each quarter is worth 25 cents. So then that actually gives me exactly two dollars. If I had eight quarters, that's two dollars. And I have used up all the money. And so ninety-four dollars divided by eight is eleven dollars plus fifty cents plus twenty-five cents, which is eleven dollars and seventy-five cents. So my estimate of eleven dollars is actually pretty, pretty close. So um, like I said, your job will be to do numbers three, four, and five. And then the next uh, worksheet is just uh, some addition and subtraction review of decimals. So um, you don't have to solve these uh, sideways. You can put them on top like that. Um, same for these in the bottom. And so uh, good luck with that. All right, this is one of my favorite games. This is Penny Nickel Dime. We've played it before. Um, and so it should be familiar to some of you. Uh, I'm going to change the camera angle again so you can see it, but um, I'm really excited about this game. Okay, so we're going to play Penny Nickel Dime. What you need for this game is a dice, and um, um, if you don't have a printer, you can very easily make this sheet. It's included in your work for today, but um, if you don't have a, a printer, you can very easily emulate this um, and copy this down on a piece of paper, so uh, be, sh be free to do that. I'm also going to show you, uh, there is a, um, <clears throat> there's actually a, if you Google, Google dice, um, it's a virtual dice that you can actually roll and it gives you a, a rule, um, a roll for that, which is actually pretty cool. So a uh, Google dice, um, and then it'll roll for you. So game is you roll seven, the dice seven times, right? So there's seven rounds. For every roll, you get to take that many pennies, nickels, or dimes. Whoever gets closest to a dollar without going over is the winner. So you can't go over. You go over, you automatically bust and you lose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started here. And I'm going to play on my own. So I'm going to challenge myself here. So I'm going to roll the first dice. And I got a six. So I want to give myself six dimes, six nickels, or six pennies, right? So I'm going to do six nickels, and I'm going to do six times five cents, which gives me 30 cents. So I have 30 cents so far. So that's the end of round of roll one. Roll again. 
I got a five. So I, I can give myself five dimes, five nickels, and five pennies. Now, you have to do all seven. I can't just, let's say I get a dollar on round three and be like, oh, I got a dollar, I'm done. You can't stop. So now you have to be really careful about what you want to do, right? So I'm going to do uh, five pennies. So I'm going to do five times a penny, and that is five cents. So, so far I have 35 cents. All right, next one. I got four. Um, I'm going to do four nickels, which is five cents, and that gives me 20 cents. So now I have 55 cents. All right, round four. Got another four, and let's see. I'm going to do nickels again. So that is four times five cents. That's 20 cents again. We got one. So that's going to be a dime. So I'm going to do one times 10 cents, which is 10 cents. And I have, let's see, that's 40 plus 30. That's 70, 75, 85. I have 85 cents and I have two more rounds left. Yeah, I got five, um, so I'm going to do dimes, nickels, or pennies. I'm going to do, hmm, so I'm at 85. If I did nickels, that would be 25, and I would go over, so I'm going to do pennies. So five times one penny, which is five cents. Now I'm at 90 cents. In my last roll, I got five, and I'm going to do five pennies. So uh, my totals here, I got 10 cents here. I have 20, 40, uh, 70 cents here. And I have 5, 10, 15 cents here. And I add them all up, that's 80, 95 cents. So 95 cents is pretty, pretty good. Let's see how well you do. And this is a game that you can play over and over again. If you play with multiple, more than one person, what you do is you roll the dice and everyone, let's say lands on three, everyone has to pick a different thing. Or, you know, you kind of hide your 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 um, sheet of paper and then whoever gets closest to one is the winner. Um, it'd be great to see pictures of you playing this game, so please send those in um, and have fun playing the game. All right, so um, our coloring mural today is a Hedwig, and I am going to show you that right now. Um, and so here's that finished product. There is also going to be a brand new Ken Ken, Ken Ken number 11. And so be ready for that. Um, both these murals and the Ken Ken are optional. So you don't have to do these things. They're just kind of extra things for you to do if you want to do them. Um, and then um, I just want to say goodbye message. Uh, thank you for joining me in this episode. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I also want to let you know that um, either next week or the following week, I am planning on doing a fourth grade check-in and a fifth grade check-in. Um, I did one with sixth grade math just because I haven't been working with them very uh, much. And so I am going to do one with fourth and fifth grade math. Uh, and so just look for that later uh, next week. And um, I hope that you'll be able to join. It'll be really informal. Um, you'll just be able to ask questions. We'll just be able to hang out on Zoom. So um, look out for that. But here is the answer to the estimation 180, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.